After a lifetime of feeling or being told by others that we're too sensitive and we need to toughen up, a lot of highly sensitive people feel like they need to hide their sensitivity because they view it as some sort of a weakness or a vulnerability. But the truth is, highly sensitive people view the world around us in a very different way than most. And it actually comes with some really amazing gifts that we can be grateful for and that we can share with the world. Here are seven incredible gifts that you have as a highly sensitive person. The first gift is empathy. Highly sensitive people are really in tune to the people around us. And that makes it much easier for us to understand how a person is feeling, connect with them on a much deeper level, and respond appropriately when someone's in need. Even when it comes to complete strangers, we really care deeply about the welfare of other people. And while we actually have to be cautious not to absorb other people's emotions and take them on as our own, that can be really hard, empathy is essential for building strong, lasting relationships with the people that matter most to us. The next one is creativity. HSPs tend to be highly creative, but that doesn't necessarily show up as being artistic. It can show up in other ways as well. Creativity is what allows us to see problems from all sorts of different angles and allows us to come up with really new and interesting solutions. Creative minds tend to be curious, wired for deep observation, and an ability to connect the dots between seemingly disparate ideas that can often lead to brand new ideas. Next is intuition. Because we take in much more information from the world around us and process that information much more deeply than most, we tend to pick up on a lot of things that other people just miss. Now, because of this broader range of input that we're constantly taking in, we tend to have much more finely tuned intuition than most. This means that we often have really strong gut feelings about people or situations before our rational brain actually has a chance to figure out why we're having those feelings. This can help us make better decisions and solve problems and assess our relationships a little bit more effectively. In some cases, this can actually help us predict the outcome of certain situations. The next gift is sensory intelligence. So HSPs are highly aware of our surroundings and that makes it easier for us to more accurately assess a situation that we're in and respond in the appropriate way. This helps to keep us safe in dangerous situations. This means that you've got a huge advantage if you're a highly sensitive person working in sports or even in the military. Another gift of the highly sensitive is depth of processing. So sensitive people think about things a lot more deeply and for much longer periods of time. In fact, a lot of us might think about ourselves as being overthinkers, which can certainly be annoying, but our ability to analyze a situation and view it from multiple angles and then connect that information to knowledge that we've already collected, that can lead to really thoughtful decision-making and innovative ideas. Next up is conscientiousness. Being conscientious means we care a lot about doing the right thing. We really care about the truth, we really try and keep our promises, and we tend to take our responsibilities very seriously. And because we tend to be very careful and very diligent, it means that we tend to create our work to very high standards, and that often makes us top performers in our jobs. Highly sensitive people usually tend to be very open-minded as well. This means that we're usually receptive to new ideas, we're usually able to see things from another person's perspective, and we're more likely to view those ideas without prejudice. Now on a small scale, this could mean being open to trying new foods or experiences that we can use to enrich our lives. But on a bigger scale, this can mean having peaceful and productive conversations with people who have wildly different views than us. And being able to have those conversations with people that we might disagree with can lead to outcomes that end up being beneficial to everyone involved. Now, whenever you feel challenged by your sensitivity, which if you're like me, could be often, just come back to these gifts and remind yourself that you have all of these amazing superpowers. These gifts are great for you, but they're also really great to share with the rest of the world. Being gifted doesn't mean that you've been given something, it means that you have something to give. Now I wanna invite you to join my Less But Better newsletter. This newsletter comes out every single Wednesday and it is business and lifestyle for the secretly sensitive entrepreneur. You can check out this video next for seven ways that you can boost your happiness as a highly sensitive person. And if you like this video, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you can be notified every time I put out one of these videos. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week.